Okay, so what I'm about to show you is the weirdest Pokemon battle I've ever had in my life. Uh, a lot of confusing decisions by my opponent here. So this is one of my first times playing OU. Now they were ranked a solid 1,000, which is the worst possible rating that you can have. Probably just started out playing OU, as you will see later on. There's some really weird things going on here. So my lead... Uh, I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to turn this on slow. I'm going to spoil it. Uh, I'm going to lead Rotom and trick this Pex. So my set, I am max speed, max special attack. Uh, I think timid nature. Uh, and then I am Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump Protect. Now, I debated going for a Thunderbolt here, uh, but I think I thought trick would be more valuable, even if it was AV Pex. I felt pretty okay about this entire situation. I don't care too much about EV packs and gathering against Assault Vest is nice anyways for Thunderbolt later on, and I'm okay if I get hit by Toxic or whatever they decide to click. I'm like, sure, whatever, this is totally fine. So they have an Eviolite on their Toxapex, which uh, is probably, I mean, it's the most, it's like the most useless item you could possibly have. It doesn't do anything. Toxapex is fully evolved, so now they just have a Choice Scarf and I have an Eviolite, so that's cool. Um, I guess this is worse for me, but also Eviolite's terrible. Uh, no leftovers, no assault vest, nothing that does anything really. So they click toxic. Okay, cool. Yeah. So pretty, you know, whatever. Like weird first turn. And at this point, I'm, I'm a little confused. So they withdraw to Amoongus. I click uh, Thunderbolt here, uh, hoping they would stick around. Maybe I could get a Thunderbolt off, and I'm like, it's really safe. Uh, I'm not scared by Toxapex. They could click Sludge Bomb, but I don't really care too, too much. My Rotom is still going to be faster than a lot of their stuff that I really need it to be. Uh, like Typhlosion uh, is look and Toxapex are both looking like, you know, kind of threatening late game. So I want to make sure that I can deal with them. So I get the Para, which is really nice, and that will come into play a bit later on. I'm hurt by Poison, whatever. So here, uh, pretty clear Volt switch out into... I, I take a little bit, and I decide to go into my Iron Moth. Uh, I have super effective moves. I feel pretty decent about this. And they don't have a clean switch into Flamethrower, as you will see. Well, well, well they do. They have Typhlosion. Um, they don't make that switch. So they get Parid, which is cool. Probably was going for Spore. You got to Greninja, which... This is my Specs Iron Moth. And it is taking, this Greninja is taking 66%. So I decide here, I want this Greninja gone. It's such a big threat. I'm just going to Terra and get rid of it right now. Um, eat the Hydro Pump and throw off the Flamethrower. And I feel pretty decent about how this game is going so far. Uh, so they sent out Flosion out, which is fine. I switch it back out into Rotom. Uh, makes sense here. They missed their Heat Wave. Uh, solid. They got really unlucky in this battle. Now, I'm going to say this. It did not matter that they got really unlucky in this battle. Like, so, spoiler, I 6-0 here. I get the 6-0. Um, it does not matter that they got, like, very, very unlucky because there was no way they were ever going to win this game anyways. Uh, I mean, it wasn't going to happen. And you'll see, like, why later on. But for right now... Uh, let's focus on what's going on here. I click the Hydro Pump, I think. Just hoping they would stick around. Got a crit. Once again, really lucky. Um, now, I'm going to just use Volt Switch again. There's no reason not to. 16% fine chip. I mean, it's Regenerator, but whatever. Screw it, right? Uh, they get fully paired here. Now, I don't think this would matter. They're probably going to go for Spore. So I feel pretty okay about that one. Uh, you know, who knows? So they go Typhlosion, which is a smart switch, because I'm clicking Flamethrower, and I forgot that it's Flashfire. I don't think they normally run Flashfire. I think it's normally Blaze, so good call on their end. Uh, Heat Wave deals a really strong 37. We don't get burned, so we're still looking okay. Uh, and this Garg is about to absolutely demolish this guy, so they send their Pex out. Um, I, I'm ready for, like, a Surf here. I'm thinking, like, they're probably just gonna Surf... It'll deal a good chunk, probably like 30-40% of my health, and I need to be careful. I'll get a Salt Cure off, and then I'll need to switch. Uh, so they go, so I click Salt Cure, and deal 11%, which is really good. Uh, lefty, Salt Cure, all that stuff. Now they click Toxic, so uh, my Garg, and like all Gargs are Purifying Salt, which if you don't know, uh, means that uh, my Garg cannot be hit by status conditions, it can't be affected by them. So it's just, I mean, it's just that good. So, so their toxic doesn't go through. I mean, they're like, 
1000 elo i don't expect them to know everything that's fine what they made the mistake once that's okay now here remember so they have a, a choice scarf at this point they have been tricked a scarf they need to switch because toxic will do nothing and their pecs will die and this pex is going to be really good later on against like my great tusk eh, maybe not not just a bunch of my great tusk but it'll be decent against like iron moth maybe uh garg definitely they like keeping pecs alive is just important you regenerate you can heal all of this hp back and it just won't matter even though you're uh scarfed so um intelligently they decide to stay in and keep clicking toxic uh they're gonna do it here toxic unaffected and i uh so this is a tech that i'm running and i mean it's probably not good i just thought it'd be funny uh block on garg uh, if they decide to stick around after one stalk here, they get trapped, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's fun. So they, you know, take stalk your damage, and I'm just going to click recover, but, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, I'm just going to get back up to full health, and it's, it'll be fine. Toxpex falls, and now they're going to send their next mon out, which is going to be this Amoongus. And, okay, so we've established that I'm purifying salt. I can't be affected by status conditions. Like, this Garg kind of beats this Amoongus. I don't know if they just didn't have anything or what. Uh, so, I click Salt Cure. Just want chip damage. And then, like a genius... Okay, well, they get paralyzed first. Um, cool. Didn't matter, as you'll see in just one moment. Sweep block. This Amoongus is screwed already. Para again. Cool. Um, so, double para is nice. Uh, but once again, it really didn't matter because they're going to click Spore, uh, which does not affect me because of Purifying Salt, which is awesome. Uh, and now I get to click Recover Full Health like an idiot. That was stupid of me. Probably should have clicked Salt Cure. And they get paired again, so whatever. I don't know what they were doing. A lot of paras, it didn't matter. Like, nothing they were going to use. Maybe they were Synthesis. I don't know. Like, possibly they were Synthesis or I'm going to try and stall me down. So, <laughs> they have established... Uh, they don't know what Purifying Salt does because now they're using Hypnosis, uh, which is another sleep move. <laughs> now this cannot do anything to me. So we're going to click Salt Cure. Um, it's Gardevoir, right? We just want, you know, chip damage. At this point, like, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, what if Garg sweeps this team? Like, that'd be cool. But also, like, Gardevoir can be really annoying. Claude's Air can struggle with, to take Psychics, like, more than one. And... Uh, Tusk can't take anything, and I'm like, ah, you know, it's probably a good idea to try and deal with this Gardevoir as early as I can. It'll definitely be a threat if I let it stick around for too long. Uh, so they click Hypnosis again into my Purifying Salt. We're, we, we block, now they're screwed. This Gardevoir is going to die at some point. They Moonblast, so they do recognize that they can't beat me here. And then, you know, I mean, I, what, I'm just going to click Recover on the moon blast again and get back up to a really solid point 81 percent i mean 80 like seven eight after leftovers whatever we're looking great so now they're going to send out their dragapult and this dragapult will now okay so okay well you see it now they're going to click <laughs> thunder wave which of every move in this game makes probably the least sense to click like, of every move that could reasonably be on this Dragapult, even if you don't know what Purifying Salt does, and you are, if you, even if you're clicking random moves, Will-O-Wisp even makes more sense, because what is Thunder Wave doing? I'm already slow, Para won't matter, I'm living everything. This Dragapult, as you'll see, is a physical, at least I think, they clicked Dragon Dance later on, so I think it's physical. Although, who knows? It could be like, Dance, and then Draco Meteor, or something stupid. But, I mean, who knows? So, I mean, even Wisp makes more sense to try and, you know, make Salt Cure just deal less damage, but, you know, whatever. I mean, we all know that's not going to happen. They could click Darts. They could click, like, Dragon Claw, or... Oh, wait, no, I forgot. They are physical. They have Outrage. They, they could have clicked Outrage. They had a billion options, and they decided to click Thunder Wave. So, Salt Cure will come out. Solid 22. Um, they're gonna dance here, which, sure, whatever, I mean, I don't really care. Dance up a little bit, whatever. Salt here, 
I crit again, which is cool, but it, once again, it, it's not like it matters. It's one of those like, oh man, oh no. So they're going to outrage for, for, for an admittedly solid chunk of damage, but I'm just going to kill him with uh, another assault here. And this is a dead Dragapult. And now, finally, we have Typhlosion. Takes Rock's damage. Now, they're going <laughs> to use Dig, which I, I didn't even know this guy got. But it is very funny, because that is obviously their best move <laughs> uh, to deal. Well, I don't even know. Like, no, Heat Wave was, because Heat Wave is dealing more damage. But then they take 39 from Salt Cure, and then they're going to, like a, a legend, click Terra Fire Dig this time, and not even Heat Wave. Or maybe they're, like, Choice or something. Maybe they're, like, Scarf. I don't know. But anyways, Garg is going to finish this game out with a solid uh like 5-0 sweep it was like iron moth beat the greninja and then gar just won so from turn yes yeah, so they were 1000 and i'm i'm really low rated too i just i'm i'm really trying to learn this tier and i haven't played that much and i should play more it's very fun so from turn when i switched in on turn 10 so from turn 11 to 29 they chose the wrong option on, like, possibly every turn. So, let, let's see. I'm actually curious. Let's figure this out. So, Toxpex comes out. Wrong idea. Wrong idea. Wrong. Uh, I mean, para, whatever. But I would guarantee you. But I know they were clicking Spore here. Wrong idea. I don't know what they were doing. So, I can't really make a judgment call. Hypnosis. No. No. Yes. I mean, this is the right play. I mean, you can't switch anymore, so screw it. Thunder Wave makes no sense. Dragon Dance, probably mm, whatever. Like, you maybe could have just clicked Outrage, but I don't really know. Uh, Outrage, and then you have Dig, and you could have clicked it. Whatever. It's a mess. Uh, absolute disaster of a game, although very fun to play in the moment because it was just an absolute roller coaster. Uh, but a roller coaster where, it's, where you're only going up. Uh, it's only the fun part of the roller coaster. Well, I mean, going up isn't really the fun part of the roller coaster, but. Uh, you know, a bit of a, it was only the fun part of the roller coaster because, uh, every moment was a new type of thing that I've never seen before in this game. Uh, and I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, that's it. I really just wanted to talk about this thing for like a little bit. It sounded fun. It was a really fun battle to, to play. Uh, I'm going to play some more OU. It, uh, it's fun. I like the tier. I like my team. You didn't get to see any of it. There's a Slow King and a Great Tusk and a Clodsire, but I mean, hey, whatever. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you whenever I upload again. Probably be years or something. Who knows?